Hi guys, this is Colin. I'm back. Mr. Old School Gamer. I'm finally done with all the laundry. I've uh, pretty much uh, just done the laundry all day. That is uh, the glamorous uh, lifestyle of a family father. <laughs> I really have a rock and roll uh, lifestyle. Booze and chicks. 24-7. So, soon I'm gonna go and uh, drive my little daughter and her friend to basketball practice. And that's my life. So, we are back with World of Warships. And uh, here's a game in the Tier 7 Premium Cruiser Mikhail. Kutuzov. Uh, the Mikhail is an uh, excellent ship. Um, it's uh, Russian, so of course it's gonna be pretty excellent premium. It has some excellent nice guns that uh, fire out to I think 17-18 kilometers. It's really long range. It was uh, the only ship that wasn't uh, nerfed in the big uh, ATF uh, nerf patch, so to speak. So you have great rate of fire, great range, uh, great chance on setting ships on fire. And uh, the AP is uh, pretty uh, decent as well. Uh, it can really hurt. The enemy ships that choose to show broadside to you, to you. and uh, you have the uh, torpedoes that goes out to eight kilometers I think uh, and uh, those are also pretty excellent for those uh, close encounters and of course you have smoke which is uh, unique for this cruiser and uh, that is also very excellent. Just uh, stop your engines, pop your smoke, and sit there and spam HE on everything. So I, uh, of course, go straight and help uh, Team Cap B. Then head straight to uh, A. The whole team has uh, decided this before. So there's a Atago, pretty much overextended. It's gonna die soon. I stop just uh, short of uh, the corner of the island because uh, one of the downsides to uh, Mikhail Kutuzov is that uh, it is a paper ship. If you show your broadside to a battleship he can pretty much one shot you, so you have to play it smart. So I pop my smoke and I start engaging all the targets in uh, the A cap. is burning down and there is gone and that's kill number, fir uh, kill number one and first blood I continue uh, engaging these turpits that is uh, trying to get away and uh, here's that excellent uh, HE spam that I was talking about you are really potent fire starter this is pretty much uh, a uh, buffed uh, Murmansk from tier 5 which is also very very potent fire starter as you may have seen in my previous uh, video um, now we're just waiting for a uh, uh, possibility to uh, charge in and take this cap but as I said before close to the enemy, so if I show myself too much here, I can uh, pretty much uh, die in But I continue to uh, put fire on these turpits. He's trying to maneuver, trying to get away, but uh, that is the th strength of uh, this uh, Kutuzov, you can't get away. <laughs> Because Kutuzov is much faster than you, and uh, we have the range. So we can pretty much follow you across the map, and just uh, keep spamming fires upon you. 
So the only chance pretty much the enemy team has against uh, Kutuzov is that uh, they pretty much kill him off in the beginning. And of course uh, Kutuzov is also one of the strongest uh, anti-air cruisers in the game. You can pretty much uh, just shoo up any division or squadron of planes that the enemy carrier uh, tries to send to you. Uh, I start engaging this Tashkent, which is trying to take the cap for their team. So I'm just uh, trying to reset their progress in the cap. And there's kill number two and kill number three, a double strike. One with torps and one with fire. So now I start to engage this uh, New Mexico. And as I see, uh, I really need to have a thin profile towards enemies because if I eat that entire salvo from that Mexico, I would pretty much be dead. He damaged one of my turrets, so I uh, make repairs on it directly because I don't really want to lose a turret. And, uh, as you may know, if one turret is uh, damaged and then it gets uh, hit again before it uh, has uh, uh, self-repaired, you will uh, permanently lose that uh, turret. Now I change to this Pensacola, which is in the cap and trying to uh, cap for their team. Defended base and uh, I get fires on the Pensacola. And now, pretty much, uh, their fleet on this flank has uh, cleared off. So it's time to start uh, heading down south. That uh, Pensacola managed to uh, pull an answer, so <laughs> I'm. Uh, Continue fire on him, try to set him on fire, try to sink him pretty much. And as usual, there's only love in the chat. It's always so nice to <laughs> read what people are writing. So that's kill number four on that Pensacola. Uh, we have a New Mexico, and we have a Miyoko and a Turpitz still here. So I need to be a bit careful here. I shoot off my Torps. Just checking the friendlies, so they don't uh, try and uh, sail into my uh, Torp prediction. And now I start to uh, set the Turpitz on fire. Now we are really down on caps. Our uh, plan from the start was was that we were gonna charge uh, to the west and go the entire team just around the map and cap. But uh, something happened. <laughs> they stopped us in our tracks, so uh, we are a bit uh, behind with the caps now. They own pretty much three caps and we don't have any yet, although we are pretty even in the ships still, fortunately. So something needs to be happening. <laughs> and out of the five kills our team has, I had done four of them, so I don't really know what uh, the rest of the guys have been doing, but uh, they sure could uh, pick up the tempo of it. Now, <laughs> this turpit has a nice barbecue on deck. It looks really nice. A sunny day like this is always nice for barbecue. And that's kill number five and Kraken unleashed. Now, uh, a bit unfortunate. Uh, my uh, game capture card decided to uh, just uh, stop uh, working <laughs> today. 
when I had this uh, great game. So I'm uh, not gonna be able to show you the end screen results, unfortunately. But uh, as you may see up in the right corner, uh, it was a pretty good game. If I'm not mistaken, I made uh, seven or eight hundred thousand credits this game. I think I had uh, twelve or thirteen thousand XP, and I had a base XP of three thousand eight hundred. So uh, it was a pretty good game. <laughs> but as you will see, then. Uh, I will have uh, two assisted base captures and uh, one solo base capture in the end. And uh, I haven't done all of my damage yet, so... But it's uh, really unfortunate lately. I uh, thought my game capture card uh, captured this recording, but it didn't, so I had to uh, record this out. Uh, of a replay file instead the enemy is about to win. and uh, I'm sorry to say that the replay file don't uh, contain the pre uh, post the game result screens so now I'm heading to uh, their base cap so to speak but uh, since this is a four cap domination it's just a regular cap and if you see that squadron of planes, you can pretty much tell that uh, the enemy carrier is behind that big island in the southeast, where I point out there. If you wonder why I'm uh, pinging out on the big map, uh, <laughs> it's a bug for me since 5.5 uh, patch that I can't uh, ping the minimap anymore. So if I need to ping something out for the team, I need to bring up the big map and ping on that one instead. It's uh, a really annoying bug. And I also can't do this, uh, you know, zoom out with the right mouse button thing when you are in zoomed and firing on, up on an enemy. And you just push right mouse button to zoom out to check for some torps or something. Uh, that I can't do as well, and uh, somehow my anti-air, which I have uh, binded to the B key, it is uh, reset after every match, so I need to rebind that key for every match, which can be a problem if you play as a destroyer, and you can't uh, turn on or off your AA. And as you see, the enemy carriers, uh, the enemy carrier no, knows I'm here. Uh, he has spotted me with his squadrons, but he won't send them on me. Um, even though I will probably be the one that kills him. He don't attack me with his squadron, and that is why, because the Kutuzov is so, strength, uh, so strong. Sorry, I'm Swedish, I'm retarded, so I speak pretty poor. Um, sorry, Kutuzov is a really strong AA cruiser, so if he would send his bombers upon me, I would pretty much just uh, shoot them out of the sky. So he rather send them towards uh, those ships in the background. And as I said before, I know that he is behind this island, so I will just go towards this island and uh, check out where he is. It's a very easy trick to uh, just follow the squadrons in and then you pretty much know where the carrier is. Now he popped up. He has been trying to get away from me. But this is a problem with Kutuzov. You will never get away. And you can't even send your squadrons of planes to kill him while he's hunting you because he will just shoot them down. So Kutuzov is the worst enemy of any carrier. So now I'm just saying hi to the guy in chat. And of course, 
as a gentleman, I give him the option of dying to guns or torps. But I read his silence as uh, maybe he wants to get this. So I got the high caliber, so now I have first blood, double strike, kraken, confederate and high caliber. So it's been a good game, and this will be kill number 6. And we have the caps. We've sunk an enemy aircraft carrier. 